been a, a very uh, festive mood almost. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, different activity going on throughout Ferguson and actually throughout the St. Louis region. We had activity going on downtown, uh, a large rally and demonstration under the arch. Uh, we have uh, protesters and demonstrators across the street from the uh, Ferguson Police Department. Uh, and now, which is really where ground zero of this whole incident is, is the Q QT on West Larson. Uh, there are hundreds, um, maybe over a, a thousand or two thousand people out here right now uh, marching through the streets. Uh, it's been very peaceful. Um, there is uh, a stark difference to what we saw yesterday. Very little police, uh, visible police presence. Uh, a lot of it is self-regulated and self-policed. We have young people in the street uh, directing traffic, hmm. uh, keeping other people out of the street and on the sidewalk. Um, the sun is just set, and uh, that's kind of the litmus test. Um, we hope we have a, our first peaceful night in a long time here. What happened last night um, with your arrest? We, I've been following you uh, on social media, and the, the silence when you dropped off because we knew that you'd been taken into custody uh, was very worrying. What were the circumstances of your arrest? Well, I had arrived here about 7 o'clock, um, and by that time, uh, what had become a regular thing, uh, the riot gear, uh, riot gear police officers uh, with armored vehicles and snipers on top uh, showed up uh, unprovoked and formed a line uh, right near where the protesters were. Uh, that really agitated, especially the young men. Uh, it became confrontational. Uh, several of us uh, got the crowd to back back. Uh, every now and then, the uh, police would go on the, on the loudspeakers and tell them to uh, go back 25 feet or else they would have to intervene. Uh, I had heard from somebody who lives uh, behind the, P, uh, the QT. Uh, he told me that uh, he had heard that police said that uh, people better be off the street at 9 o'clock. Hmm. I tweeted that around uh, 825. Uh, and sure enough, close to 9 o'clock, uh, an officer got on the bullhorn. He said this was no longer a peaceful demonstration and that everyone must return to their homes or their cars. Uh, that started a confrontation again. Uh, eventually, police threw smoke bombs into the crowd. Uh, the crowd ran. Uh, a lot of people ran. Most of your older folks uh, tried to get away. Uh, once the folks realized it wasn't tear gas, uh, a lot of the young guys came back, uh, started saying F the police and uh, just enchanting. Um, and it just became very, very confrontational. Uh, the police then said that uh, if they do not disperse, they will make them disperse, basically. Uh, and then they shot tear gas. Around that time, I went to my car, which was parked uh, within view of the area, but on a side street, and uh, raised my car windows and closed my vents. Uh, I had been in a tear gas incident a couple days ago, and I thought that was the best place to be. Hmm. Uh, and I continued to record the incident from my car. Uh, the police line started to move forward. Uh, as they started to move forward, the guys became uh, even more confrontational, uh, and then um, and then they shot tear gas into the crowd and uh, and just advanced and advanced. Uh, eventually, the line got to the front of my car uh, with some demonstrators behind me in a confrontation with the police. Uh, the police kind of surrounded my car. An officer opened my car door and uh, pulled me out and arrested me. I asked him what he was arresting me for. Uh, he said because I didn't listen. And so I went to jail. The crime of not listening. Is it clear to you that you're going to be uh, charged, that you're going to have to deal with this uh, in court? Do you know how, how, how was it left when you were released this morning? No, they, they, uh, they kind of took uh, one of two approaches with people they arrested. They either gave them bail, at which point somebody could pay it immediately and they can get out of jail, or they denied them bail and, uh, and kept them uh, as long uh, as they wanted to, up to 24 hours. And so after about uh, 10 hours, they released me this morning. Mm. St. Louis with Ward, no charges. St. Louis Ward 21, Alderman Antonio French. Uh, again, not facing charges, but 10 hours in custody for the crime of not listening. Uh, kudos to you for being willing to get back out there after that ordeal. Uh, and thank you for doing so much to keep the rest of the country informed as to what's happening there on the ground level. You've been an incredible source of information, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All right, good luck. All right, we got much more.